Hi, thanks for joining me in review number eight. Today we're gonna to have a look at some juice that was sent to me from Alpha Omega. We'll have four different ones to try. These come in 30 mil package and they have three 10 mil bottles inside them in each one of them. And they come in zero, three and six milligram. And they're all 80 VG, 20 PG. So I have them all set out in front of me, ready to go. We'll have up in the Limitless, the bottle cap. And this one is Aphrodite. Comes in a pink sort of bottle, pink colouring on it. berries raspberries bit of eucalyptus in me Something cooling. I'm not a fan of the mentholy stuff, but that's all right, so it is. It's not overpowering. Usually I cough my lungs up, but as you can see, you can vape away at this. You taste the berries in the tongue, then you get a wee bit of the raspberry at the back of the throat. So moving on to the next one. Have it up in the rogue bottle cap as well. And this one is Poseidon. Moving on to the next one is Poseidon. And again, three V ten mil bottles to make up your thirty mil. And that is Keenan Poseidon. What is it? Watermelon, lychees mixed with secrets of Poseidon's realm. Loads of vapor from them all, but Poseidon ain't for me. As you can see, it's not terrible, I can still vape it, but just not my cup of tea. So, moving on to the next one, we'll have Zeus, comes in an orange package. ml bottle again that's nice and refreshing
when you get into like a bar, right? flavor from it berries and a wee bit of the eucalyptus like a small small amount of eucalyptus like a cooling effect red berries and cherries accompanied with a blast of eucalyptus and a seed and a menthol finish with a powerful easy glaze moving on to the next one Athena these are all three milligram that I have again we 10 ml bottle this one's green It's a, a transcendent mixture of blueberries and raspberries topped with a squeeze of sweet pineapple and gently diced bananas encapsulating true greatness. Again on the end here you're getting that there wee eucalyptus. Again, not a big fan of the eucalyptus, don't like the the cooling effect. I'm more of a custard fan myself. None of them are bad. Even the ones that I didn't like. I mean Poseidon. It was my least favourite. So it was, I mean, it's not that I can't vape them, just that they're not my cup of tea. Offer they elect, Sue select. I think it was okay, Poseidon isn't for me. So three out of four ain't bad. Again, as you can see, they all have plenty of vapor, so they have. To me, the eucalyptus kills it off. Again, if you're into your eucalyptus, that's what you want. But for me personally, I'm not a big eucalyptus fan or menthol. Yeah, after date. Pink for the win.
definitely my favorite, the Aphrodite. And then in the second was Zeus. With them being ADVG, very thick liquid, so it doesn't run about the place. Yep, second spot, Zeus, and then. Third, the Athena. And fourth, Poseidon. So that's my opinion on them, so it is. But please remember, taste is subjective. I've tasted a lot of juice that I can't have near me. But other people love, the likes of that Fantasia. All I done was cough my lungs up, too much of uh, eucalyptus or whatever it is, the mentally thing that they have in theirs. But that just hit me at the back of the throat every time I was taking a, a vape off it. Couldn't use the stuff, so passed it on to somebody else. So with these here, although they have the eucalyptus in them, it's not overpowering. It's in the background, but not overpowering. There is plenty of vap vapor from them. There is plenty of flavour from them, and as you can see, plenty of vapour. So, you can give them a wee try yourself and see what they're like, give your opinion on them. Thanks for watching, until the next time, bye for now.